So maybe you just got this amazing new Procreate brush, but now you're like, how do I get it into Procreate? Well, I'm gonna show you a couple of options to do exactly that. First up is the iPad only option. Let's jump into it. So maybe somebody sent you an email or you tapped on a link in a website. You'll be like, bam, and this will happen. You'll say, do you wanna download this brush? And you'll be like, yeah, download. And then Safari will play a nice little animation and it'll say, it is downloaded. But where is that? It's in your Files app. So if you swipe up or search for your Files app, this is what it looks like. You tap on that. In your Downloads folder, that's where it's gonna be. And then you tap on that. And then Procreate opens it and imports it. This is like flipping magic. There we go. There's this little imported group over here with Rich's Terps brush in it. That cannot be more simple. Now, you'd be like, okay, is there a more complicated way to do this? Well, things can get a little tricky. So, check this out. So now we come back to notes and somebody's hosting a particular brush on Dropbox or Google Drive or some other cloud platform. And if I hold this down and I say copy link and I go to Safari, and paste that in there and say go, you may be presented with something like this. Dropbox is like, I want to show you the file, but I don't know what a dot brush is. So I'm telling you it can't be previewed. So let's just download that. If you have Dropbox on your iPad, you can say save to my Dropbox, and then it works amazingly well, but I'll get to that. So if we go for direct download, sometimes you have to tap twice. There we go, you get that familiar pop-up. You then press download, and then, there we go. You now have two Rich Terps' brushes. Okay, and then from here, you go to your Files app, and tap on that, and Procreate imports it. And now you should have two Rich Terps brushes, which is pretty rad. Absolutely rad, in fact. So, if we go back to our Notes app, the final thing that I want to show you on the iPad only option is a brush set. So if we tap on this, perhaps, you know, somebody has sent you a whole bunch of brushes as a brush set. You get this familiar pop-up, you press download, there will be that animation saying, hey, it's downloaded, let's go to our files app and tap on the brush set, it imports it all, and then at the top, woo, there we go. You have a whole new bunch of brushes. And this is so easy. Okay, next option now is perhaps you've already downloaded it, but not to your iPad, to your computer. Now, first option I'm gonna cover is your computer is a Mac computer. The next option is if your computer is a Windows computer. So let's jump over to our computer. And here, I'm on dropbox.com. Remember, Dropbox can't preview a brush file, so I'm just going to download it. And man, I can't really press anything here, so I'm gonna go up here, press download, direct download for now. And that goes to my downloads folder. So I'll open up Finder, and there it is, normal.brush. But now how do we get it from our computer to our iPad? Well, if you're on Mac, this is really cool. Option one, right click, and then say share, and then AirDrop. And then your iPad should come up here if you're on the same Wi-Fi network. And there it is, iPad. So you tap on iPad, and then your iPad says, bam, importing. So Procreate's really clever, it just imported this thing, and there it is, your normal brush, which is, pfft, that is just mind-blowingly simple. Okay, next option, if this doesn't work for whatever reason, is to copy that. So I'm gonna right-click and say copy. Then we're gonna go down to iCloud Drive, go to the Downloads folder, right-click and paste item. There we go normal.brush is gonna be there. So that means when we go to our files, 
normal.brush is over there. I'll tap that, it opens in Procreate. Bam, that is so simple. Oh my goodness. Now, if you are on Windows, you can't just airdrop it or put it into iCloud Drive. It's not possible. So how do we do that? Well, it's the same way that we could do it on Mac if we didn't have that kind of stuff. So what you need to get is either Dropbox or what's the other one? Google Drive or any of those online cloud storage services. And then you set it up with your iPad, which is beyond the scope of this, and it gets really, really easy. Check this out. So I'm gonna pretend like I'm on Windows. So let's go to the downloads folder again. I've got normal.brush. Now I'm going to right click and say uh, copy. I'm gonna to go to Dropbox and here somewhere I'm going to a paste item. And there it is, normal.brush in my Dropbox folder and it is synchronized. Now back on my iPad, let's uh, shift on over here. Let's open our files app. I'm gonna to go to Dropbox and over here it says normal.brush. Like that is just super, super fast and simple again. And then tap on that and Procreate does its magic. Okay, how simple was that? If you have any trouble installing a Procreate brush, let me know in the comments below. All right, my name is Rich Armstrong from TapTap Kaboom, and I will see you soon.